We're at the Martinez Hotel with AsianCultureVulture.com in association with East Shopping Centre for the Cannes Film Festival 2016. Hey guys, so we are with the beautiful Ashwarya Rai. She is in Cannes 2016 and she is part of the L'Oreal, um, well she is a L'Oreal ambassador and as I know, apparently she was the first L'Oreal ambassador. So let's find out how long has Ashwarya been coming to Cannes? Because it's been a while and I was trying to figure out actually, how long have you been coming here? You know, I stopped counting at some point in time. <laughs> But uh, L'Oreal very sweetly reminded me this year that it's 15 years with them. Has it yeah. really been 15? I mean, 15 with L'Oreal right. and then I had come a year before with the movie with Dave Das. Yeah. And then my first year also as um, the jury member. So it's, it's been a while. Now I was thinking, what do I not know about Ashwari Rai in Cannes? Because obviously 15 years is a long time. And I want to visit some of the favourite places of Ashwari in Cannes. So tell me some of your favourite places I can go later on to see in Cannes. Well, my visits have been um, obviously um, planned mm. and organised. So not exactly um, the kind of places you're looking to kind of hang out. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> but the beach is always great. Yeah. The Palais for cinema. Uh, and uh, I mean, there are lots of other theatres as well, mm. but I've had the, uh, I've been spoiled with a lot of great cinema at the Palais, at the theatres there, and um, great dining spots, I mean, great food. So where do you like to eat? And great ice cream. <laughs> great ice cream. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have some. Okay. So yeah, and super bread. Yeah, I'm just, I, I say all the wrong things for <laughs> someone from showbiz, but you come here and you've got to enjoy the, the croissants and the bread, it's delicious. You've got to eat food. You have to enjoy food. I'm sure in your modeling days, you had to sort of... You I know, have, no, no. no. I've always enjoyed I've, I've been a foodie. I've yeah. never been uh, one who's... Uh, dep I'm, not, I'm not a deprived soul when it comes to food. <laughs> no. So, obviously, you are here for L'Oreal. Now, obviously, you have your favourite makeup brands. Every artist loves to have her favourite things in a purse. So, when you're going to the red carpet, what do you pack? Well, um, again, here, when it comes to the red carpet, I'm spoiled by the best of the business. I mean, Charlotte is great with, the, with what she does for me. And she's really enjoyed um, her art yeah. with me, I think, over the years, where she's, she's put them all out, different combinations, the kind of color. Sometimes I wouldn't even, uh, I'd wonder if it could be too much or too different. And it just has evoked a, a wow every time so i think she's i'm secure yeah she's brilliant so that's kind of handled stefan is great with the hair that's handled so i i really don't need to pack yeah anything for my prep in terms of uh, the red carpet but having said that i am an actor i am a l'oreal brand ambassador and i am a girl <laughs> so i do love my uh, mascara i do love my skincare in terms of cleansers and moisturizers and face wash that's kind of hygiene is mm. is very very important to me i love this oil <laughs> this is like this is like really really nice really is that why i should use elnet <laughs> is great elnet is is just a fabulous spray so that kind of works to keep it all in place yeah. and um that's why you have amazing hair and a, a balm or a lip lip color yeah i think mascara lip color a little bit of concealer is is, is that's your favorite good. that's yeah that's kind of set you got the basics in place and get on with the day sure <laughs> let's move over to something a bit more serious because you're currently working on well you've actually just finished and it's out this week um called Sarabjeet, and you play a very interesting role um a sister of, of his tell us a bit about this film none of this N as the <laughs> none of this that isn't the kind of cinema at all. But again, there is a lot of use of makeup, but to create the character, mm. because I um, I age a lot through the films. I'm, so I'm just talking about the visual now, since since we're in the in in the context of yeah. uh, the ex, uh, external appearance. Mm. So there's a lot of use of makeup even for that. That's why um, in, in an artist or an actor's life, makeup has a different value. It's not just about you know putting on color for the day. It, it's it's mm. something that I really respect because it helps me create who I become for a particular story of piece mm -hmm. of cinema. It's a story in a film where you cannot turn around and say, oh, I had a pleasure essaying this part because there's nothing pleasurable, uh, pleasurable about it. It's mm. intense. It's um, it's it's a very sad story. It's um, it's uh, it's reality. It's mm. not fictional. 
And so you feel an immense sense of responsibility depicting uh, and telling the story because the, I think the most gratifying moment was when Dalbiji felt, uh, when she viewed uh, the movie and the rushes and she said, I felt I was, uh, it, it was me and that is our story. And that's, that was extremely important to me individually and to the team that um, Dalbiji feels that such a sensitive chapter and uh, sensitive aspect of the, her life, their life, her brother's story be uh, validated when eventually shared with the rest of the world. Um, so that to me was extremely precious as the actor on the film. For 23 years she struggled to try and bring her brother back. And even after that, um, he was murdered at the end of it and she brought him back but not alive. It took her 18 years to meet him the first time. We also want to talk about hope mm -hmm. because a lot of people when you are faced with uh, situations that seem impossible, you can feel crushed, your spirit can feel crushed and you sure. can feel bogged down and actually just give up. She didn't and I think that's a great message. Because after 18 years, she did get to meet her brother. She did get to go in and she took his wife and children there as well, which is, holds immense meaning mm. to, to them in the real picture. Um, is that the Ashwarya Rai who doesn't give up and hope? You know, could you relate? Yes, we have that in common. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, at the end of 23 years, even though her reality was that she couldn't bring Sarabjit back alive, even when you meet her till date, there is an incredible light to this lady and here she is still continuing to work, mm. uh, to give hope to other uh, people that let, and to work for um, prisoners of war even in India. Uh, the Pakistani boys who, or people who may be here in our prisons and likewise the Indians in Pakistan which mm. is a huge positive message. And um, I think it's a great reflection of a soul who didn't get embittered by her own reality mm. and when you meet her you see that you you get to experience her strength and her light and yet um, there is a smile there is a pleasantness to her personality and incredible strength to her voice and um, I I'd say I'm, I'm I'm honored to have had the opportunity to essay this um, this spirit you got to listen to the female voice and uh, the impact we we do have and we seek to strengthen mm -hmm. in uh, industries all over the world and um, as well as on such platforms where our cinema is exchanged and shared with the global market. So that's something which is ongoing and um, hopefully not too far ahead where uh, the larger change will is seeping in but seeping. Everyone's waiting for the tide. <laughs> <laughs> Ashwarya, thank you so much for joining us. It was a pleasure to see you pleasure. again. All the best, looking fabulous. Thank you. I uh, can't wait to see you on the red carpet. Thank you so much.